Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those that don't know me, my name is Jasmine, and for those that do, welcome back. So today I'm back with the drugstore tag. This tag has been going around YouTube for probably like the last two months, and I've been meaning to do it, but I just didn't. So this tag was originated by Jen Phelps, who has an amazing channel. She covers lots of drugstore makeup, lots of high-end makeup, lots of indie makeup. I really love her hauls that she does on Sunday. So definitely check her out. So I decided that I was going to do this tag because I love drug drugstore makeup. It's no secret. I find it's a little bit harder to get in Canada. We do get releases a little bit later than our friends in the U.S., but I still wanted to share some favorites. And I think this is a really good discussion about drugstore makeup. So I'm going to invite you too to put your thoughts in the comments. So without further ado, we're going to get started. Grab a drink, grab a snack, because we're going to go. So the very first question, and I'm going to look down because I'm totally old school and I write everything in my little book. So the first question is, if you could only use one drugstore or affordable brand, what would it be? So I think for me, it actually would be e.l.f. Cosmetics because I've been using e.l.f. forever and it's accessible in Canada as well. But I just find their products are so good. Like I'm actually wearing the e.l.f. Putty Primer today and I find that does a really good job um, minimizing my pores but also keeping the longevity of my makeup. And e.l.f. just has so many great products. Like I could do a full face of e.l.f very easily whereas with other drugstore makeup brands I feel like you know their their weak at eyeshadows or their lip products aren't as good but elf is really good like very strong with the concealers that's one of my favorite I love their lip products their eyeshadows are great their primers are great they have good highlighters bronzers blushes I'm just gonna keep going on um, but yeah I would say definitely elf because across the board they deliver in really strong products so the next question is the most underrated drugstore brand and I would say for me and I haven't heard this before in any other videos but for me it would be Burt's Bees. I know that's a really random choice but I've been sent some of their products and I really enjoy them. I find their foundation it does have like a little bit of a interesting smell I'll say that but I find their foundation really gives me a flawless finish. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice that I use their products a lot. Um, and the foundation is one that I do use quite frequently. Um, like, actually, my photo yesterday I posted, I was wearing it. Um, but I like their foundation. I'm wearing their blush right now. And it is the Toasted Cinnamon Blush. And I just find for, like, when I'm wearing these kinds of, like, bronzy makeup looks, I really like that blush. And I really enjoy their lip products as well. And their eyeshadow wasn't too bad too, but their brow pencil is one of my holy grail brow products. So I definitely recommend Burt's Bees because they have lots of really great products. So the next question is the most overrated drugstore brand. And I would say this was kind of tough, but for me, I think it actually would be L'Oreal. I used to really like L'Oreal products and I still do like some of their products, but I just find like... Their products are just so expensive for what they are, like, and they're often hit and miss. Like, I find, you know, they did a really good job, and I am wearing, like, the L'Oreal Pro, Pro Glow Concealer today, you know, and I really do like that, but I found they were delivering really good foundation. So, like, the Pro Glow and the Matte, and then they just kind of, like, stopped, and I just find for the price of it, I'm not crazy, and I find I'm not sure what demographic they're looking to cater to because I find a lot of their launches are like I don't know like they're very classic products but I just find they're not releasing anything innovative and just the price is just unheard of and nothing's changed with L'Oreal so I definitely think they're overrated so the next question is favorite product under five dollars and this was really easy for me so this comes from wet and wild and i love wet and wild for highlighters like i don't think there's a question about drugstore highlighters but if it was i would definitely give that award to wet and wild so this highlighter is 497 and originally i believe it was limited edition but i do see i got this like a few years back 
um, but it would be the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Gold Bar. And this is in Holly Go Head, and I absolutely love this. So this is the highlighter, and you can see like I've made a dent in it. So it has like this really nice gold part, um, but also to the rose gold, and it even has, I never use it, um, but it actually has like a, it has a mirror in here. I can't like flip it, and I am wearing it today because I really just wanted to show you like you can see like it's just a really nice glow. I even have that rose gold color on um, my, to highlight my brows and I have it on my nose. So I really just love this highlighter and I would highly recommend it. And I really just like any of their, like the Precious Petals, um, Crown of My Canopy, they're huge highlighters that I just love. I've actually hit pan on them because I like them so much. So the next product is what is a hidden gem gem from the drugstore and for me I've never seen this in a YouTube video. It's going to be these All May Velvet Foil Cream Shadows. So this color is out of the woods and it's like a really nice kind of like bronzy green color. So these are very moussey and very easy to apply. So I'm just going to show you and they're very long lasting too and I find they don't crease. So there it is and you can just see like you do get this gorgeous like color payoff and it just goes matte very quickly so no one ever talks about these but I think they're so pretty and they're so nice and more people really need to try these because I really like them and for like ten dollars that's a really good price for a foil liquid eyeshadow so the next question is favorite drugstore foundation and I actually just threw mine out um, but I need to rebuy it and NYX has a sale today for 40% off but I'm going to be posting this video later so sorry um, but it is the Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation by NYX. I absolutely love this foundation. I like I said in my empties video I wore it for my friend's foundation. It just looks so great and they had such a great color range and shade range that I actually found a foundation that I didn't need to you know mix and it just looked so good so I highly recommend that foundation and it just gives like that really nice it gave a really nice matte finish but not too much of like a severe matte so I just I loved it so much and I really need to repurchase it so the next question is and you're hearing my cat like he's back in these videos he was gone and quiet when I was filming but he's full on back um so that the next question is what products do you tend to buy more at the drugstore versus high-end and it definitely would be concealer for me and concealer is one of my like holy grail items I have really dark circles so I am definitely always using concealer and some of my favorites are the covergirl true blend undercover concealer I did a video on that and that is an amazing full coverage concealer I just love it so much um, I also loved as well the e.l.f. Uh, matte concealer. I, I, it was just so good. It's one of my like, like once I bought that, I didn't need shape tape anymore. Like it was out of my life. Um, so I really like that. I really like the L'Oreal Pro Glow. That's one of my favorites. And I, I didn't mind the Makeup Revolution concealer. It wasn't one of my favorites, but I thought it was pretty good. And also Maybelline makes a lot of really good concealers as well. So the next question is overpriced drugstore brand and I'm agreeing with a lot of people in the videos I've watched so far but for me it would be NYX because I just I think about when I first started buying makeup and now I think about NYX and like I was in the drugstore the other day and I am in Canada keep in mind but for like their ultimate palette it was $50. It gives a lot of colors but really do I need all those colors no am I going to use all those colors no I'm not so to pay $50 for like a mediocre quality like I just I can't um, I even find like the can't stop won't stop foundation like even though it is one of my favorites like it is an $18 foundation so it's up there like you're not paying cheap prices I think their lip products are now up to like nine ten dollars like it's just a lot and I think they really need to and I think they've suffered because of that like people aren't mentioning NYX like 
when NYX used to have releases, like, everybody went crazy, where now it's like, oh, I didn't know, like, NYX had these products, or, you know, it, they just don't have that same influence that they used to have, and the hype around NYX has really died, and I think it's because these prices, like, they used to have such affordable prices that, with such good quality, that people, like, were really excited, and now it's, we've forgotten about it. So the next product is Favorite Drugstore Dupe, and for me, it's going to be the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. So if you follow me on Instagram, no secret, I love them. They're one of my favorites, and I did grab the wrong one. I bought like four of them because I was just obsessed. Um, but I do find these are a good dupe for what I hear of the KK Beauty, and I haven't tried them yet, but I've seen that. Um, but they are a dupe definitely for the Fenty and this is like old news, I feel like, but they're definitely a really good dupe for the Fenty lip, glo lip glosses. I have those, and they're definitely same quality, same consistency. I think I actually like the Maybelline ones better. Um, I'm wearing the, the color Stone today, and I just really like how they make my lips look really pouty, really juicy. So I think these are a really good dupe, and definitely one of the top products right now at the drugstore. So the next question is best drugstore eyeshadow formula. And for me, I'm going to say Pixie. And it's like, is Pixie drugstore? Or are they in that level? But we'll keep them drugstore for this video. So the Pixie Eye Reflection Shadow Palette and Natural Beauty, this is no stranger to my channel, is one of my favorite palettes ever. Like if I'm traveling, I'm definitely bringing this. If I have a night out, this is like, you know, when I'm going out club, well, back in the day that I was going out clubbing or going out for dinner, this would be the palette I would use. It's just such a gorgeous palette, very pigmented, and, you know, you can see I've, like, definitely made some use on this palette. I just love the formula. I wouldn't say they're consistent with this formula, but they're not too bad. So the next question is the worst eyeshadow formula. And I haven't tried this brand because lately because I was just so turned off from the palette I had, but it would be Maybelline. I bought the Burgundy palette a long time ago, and it actually made my worst palettes video, so check that out. Spoiler. Um, and that formula was just so terrible, and I just couldn't make it work. I still have that palette. I should declutter it. But ever since then, I just can't try Maybelline products for eyes. And I've heard really good things that they've gotten better, but I just find their formulas really inconsistent. And because of that, I'm not going to try any drugstore, or I'm not going to try that palette. And I just find it's really hard to find good drugstore eyeshadows. Like, I, I'm not going to lie, I don't buy a lot of drugstore eyeshadows. I am wearing today, and I'm kind of impressed. Um, an old little quad I had from Wet n Wild, The Flights of Fancy. I'm wearing these shadows, and I just think they look really nice and really pigmented. I was actually surprised how much, how well they blended. So, you know, Wet n Wild actually too doesn't do too bad for eyeshadow formula formulas. Um, and I kind of already touched on this question, but a drugstore brand that you used to love, but you don't, you're not crazy about anymore, and it would be NYX. Like I said, for those reasons before. It's just too much money. It's not... They haven't came out with anything, like, revolutionary lately. And a lot of it is just... I don't know what they're looking to go into, like, costume makeup almost. Like, there's just a lot of bright colors. And I wear a lot of, like, neutrals. And it's just so expensive. And, yeah, I'm not going to... I'm not going to buy their products. Like, I'm not wearing purple highlighters to work. Um, I'm not... I don't know, like I just find they've really changed kind of up and I'm just not crazy about them anymore. So the next product is a drugstore product you didn't expect to like but totally wowed you. So for me and for any Canadians on here, it would be the Marcel Pre Precision Liquid Eyeliner. So I actually got this when I um, was chosen to do reviews for the L, the L Beauty Grand Prix. So this is an intense black, and it's such a good eyeliner. I know I'm not wearing eyeliner today, but I'm just, lately I haven't been wearing eyeliner all the time. But when I'm going out, like, this is the highlighter I choose. 
it's definitely like way ahead of the KVD Beauty tattoo liner. I used to love that and then I tried this and I was like, okay, this is my going out liner. It has a really nice precise tip so I find that it really helps me to do like a really nice wing and it just has like that really nice black, like it's an intense black. So you know what I mean when like the black eyeliner is just that perfect shade. This is it and it's pretty cheap too. So the next question is favorite affordable eyeshadow palette right now. So for me, I would say because I'm doing a lot of fall looks, I actually got this in PR from Pixie and it's their Pixie Eye FX Hazelnut Haze. So I really just like this palette for just doing like fall looks. So I find like I gravitate towards these colors because they just give you like those really nice colors that um, you can use for like a fall bronzy look. And I find it's not the easiest to blend, but I really do like it. And like I said, I honestly don't use a lot of drugstore eyeshadow palettes. So that was the eye or that. So that was the drugstore tag. I hope you enjoyed it. I really put a lot of thought into this because I wanted to talk about products that I like that I find a lot of other people don't and I'm really passionate about drugstore products so I do want to do a little bit more drugstore videos lately. I noticed I've been doing like a lot more like Sephora kind of sales and more high or hauls and more high-end products and I want to get back to the drugstore. So let me know if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to give me your answers down below. I'd love to know because like I said I'm a big fan of drugstore makeup and new recommendations are always awesome. So I hope you enjoyed and if you did give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I thank you for all your love and support and I hope you have a great day.